Well, hey there. Good afternoon or morning or evening, I suppose, depending on where and when you are watching this video. Uh, regardless of those facts, though, uh, this remains the Market 2 February FY22 Microsoft Certified Advisor call. That is a mouthful. Uh, but yes, it is true. We have arrived now finally at Best Buy's fiscal year 22. So that is super exciting. As always, uh, I am Tyler Chandler your friendly neighborhood Microsoft Retail Partner Stores District Manager. And joining me uh, are a couple of uh, my good friends at work who are our elite specialist team supporting Market 2. I'm joined by Adrian Solis, Sabrina Acid, Andy Jacobo, and Adam Merritt, who will help me kind of walk through all of the great content we have for you this month. Uh, let's get right into it, shall we? Uh, a couple of things from an agenda topic we want to talk about January recognition. Um, that's obviously something that we really, really uh, get a lot of excitement about and sharing uh, collectively and all of the great work that you have done over the month that was. Then we want to shift gears and talk a little bit about uh, some of our new strategies for the Microsoft Windows stores in the new Best Buy fiscal year. And then we want to follow that up uh, with some category updates, just things you got to know when it comes to Windows and Surface and Microsoft 365 and Game Pass, followed by a very special and super secret announcement. So if you want to know what that is, you have to hang on through the duration of the call or just skip to the very end because that's what I'm going to make the special announcement. But don't do that. I'll know. Uh, so with that, though, let's uh, let's uh, talk a little bit of performance recognition because there's a lot of it to go around, team. Uh, we are actually recording this call one day prior to the end of the actual fiscal month, which means things could change a little bit. But as it stands right now, market two, uh, the sixth place or sixth ranked overall market in the company that's on top of being the sixth ranked market in the company over the month of December and being the sixth ranked market over the course of the month of November. So we are nothing if not consistent, but uh, consistently good at that uh, six out of uh, 24 and some change is, uh, is not a bad spot to be. So great job to this team at the outset. Let's talk uh, <clears throat> Windows, shall we? Uh, always important to us. You can't really sell Microsoft 365. You can't really sell total tech support. You really can't get a Best Buy card unless you're selling a core piece of hardware. So let's take a minute to recognize our top three Windows performers. Number three, out of store 298, Mr. Josh Bottens at a staggering 133.3%. Nicely done, Josh. Number two, Adrian Greathouse at 125.6%. Adrian, fantastic job uh, coming out of 1044. And our number one Windows OEM performer in the month of February, Mr. Daniel Gustafson at 142.1%. So we're 542. Absolutely crushing it. Uh, if I were you, I would take note of Daniel Gustafson because I believe we're going to see him show up quite a bit over the next couple of slides here. Moving on to near and dear to our hearts, Microsoft Surface, our first party elite line of product. Uh, there he is again, Daniel Gustafson, 167%, uh, third place overall in market two, just an absolutely uh, amazing Surface performance last month. Casey Baker, uh, rocking store 164 at 173.5%. I always like to see 164 do well because that is one of my many alma maters for my time working at Best Buy. Uh, so great job, Casey. And then uh, Bra uh, Braden uh, Hampel uh, at 220.7% at a store 496, uh, which is uh, over there in Ogden, uh, Utah. So great job, uh, Braden, just absolutely crushing it. Uh, again, like 220%, man, more than doubling your budget. Uh, could not be more thrilled with that level of performance. Uh, here's the big one, right? Microsoft 365. Everything else is uh, really fun to talk about, but this is the one that pays the bills. This is the one that makes the money for both Microsoft and Best Buy and delivers an outstanding customer experience. So let's jump into it. Uh, he already won our third place award in uh, OEM and now coming in third also in Microsoft 365, Mr. Josh Bottens at a Colorado Springs store, 298, 142.5%. Uh, incredible stuff, Josh. Jesus. Garfio at 174%. Jesus is coming to us from store 1416 in North Glen, Colorado. Another store that I love to see do well on these because, yes, it's another one of my alma maters. I worked at that store for a handful of years as well. So great job, Jesus. Doing us proud. Uh, and then Tim out of store 212, also down in Colorado Springs. Uh, I mean, in the Springs, just had a killer month for us. Um, 
that number is wrong, so I apologize on that, Tim. Um, or I should say the rating is wrong. Tim, you are accurate at 121%. So apologies, Josh, you are number one. Jesus, you're even number two. Uh, now I take it all back. <laughs> Clearly my data is messed up here. Uh, Jesus, number one, sorry. Josh, uh, number two, Tim, number three. That's what happens. I don't proofread a slide before I present it. So apologies for that. Uh, let's move on to Game Pass. Uh, kind of our, our you know, KPI that we don't focus as much energy or attention on, but one that still carries a lot of weight on our overall scorecard. So Zach Anderson, uh, incredible job at a 358, 238.6% crushing Game Pass. Uh, then we've got Mr. Daniel Gustafson at 262.4%. Again, just incredible stuff uh, for Daniel, who's shown up multiple times here. And then... Um, Oscar Casillas at a store 217 uh, over here in Aurora, Colorado, uh, really showing what's possible at 334%. Uh, so incredible stuff from all three of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for bringing uh, the gaming experience, and the gaming ecosystem into your Windows stores. So now uh, we'll move on to the big awards of the evening, so to speak. These are going to be our top performers in overall weighted percent to target. So I'm excited. I know everyone else is as well, even though they're on mute. So let's see. Mr. Josh Bonds, no surprise here, 133.3%. Uh, did so well in OEM, showed up strong in M365 as well. It stands to reason, Josh, that you are going to be our, one of our top three as well. Uh, it should be noted, Josh, you also had a great circus month, even though it wasn't quite top three. So fantastic work across the board there. Casey Baker, store 164, 135.9%. You uh, and Josh were neck and neck all month as it stands with 24 hours left in the month. Casey's got the slight lead, putting him at number two. And number one, uh, as I mentioned earlier, Daniel just having an absolute go of it at 142%. Uh, again, I don't know what else can be said. Such an incredible performance out of 542, uh, holistically, really in every category, Daniel. Um, just a, a great example, again, of what is possible when we have really, really highly engaged MCAs delivering world-class results uh, for both Best Buy and Microsoft. So congrats to all of our MVPs for February. Um, so much good stuff, guys. Really, really proud of the work that we delivered collectively. Uh, with that, uh, I'm going to shift gears and introduce everyone briefly to uh, what we're affectionately calling our Market to FY22 strategy. There's a lot of twos in this strategy, as you can tell. Uh, I will forewarn you, the next slide is a little bit wordy. Don't worry about it. It's like a magic eye. Uh, if you remember what those are from the 90s, you just kind of stare at it for a while, let your eyes glaze over, and eventually a picture uh, of like an elephant or a T-Rex will start to materialize in front of you. Um, I'm joking, of course, but I will walk you through this, uh, but I will do it at a very high level, so I'm not going to drain the slide. I'm not going to bore you to death. Uh, our strategy remains rooted, as it always has, in generating sustainable outcomes and scalable action that drives partner capability and profitability. What that means in layman's terms is we want to provide some really specific things that will drive results in M365, Windows, and Surface so that Best Buy makes a ton of money. That's basically the goal of this strategy, right? So in M365, it really breaks down into three components. The first of which is leading with OneDrive. That strategy has not changed. We believe that OneDrive is the most effective way to connect a customer to Microsoft 365 in a couple of departments, computing, mobile, and Geek Squad. The benefit to Best Buy, the outcome that Best Buy should expect when we lead with OneDrive, they're gonna grow their membership acquisitions and they're gonna create renewable revenue streams. Here's a fun fact. In the month of December, you think of renewable revenue or membership revenue being a combination of total tech support revenue and Microsoft 365 revenue. M365 accounted for 30% of Best Buy's overall membership revenue. Right, just incredible amount of rev, uh, dollars at play here. Number two, we want to get really sharp at providing a great Microsoft 365 demo or Office 365 demo. Which one do you want to do? I leave completely up to you. Show a customer your favorite demo. That's going to help create brand love and increase the perception of associate knowledge. Now, in those uh, departments that are not mobile computing or geek squad, so your connected home, your lifestyle type departments, gaming, front end, in-store pickup. We really just want to leave with a very basic offer rate, which is, hey, this computer doesn't include Microsoft 365 or Microsoft Office, right? Did you want to get it today? And I can give you 
three extra months. Uh, so very basic, quick pitch. That will also be your quick serve pitch in computing for that customer who really is uh, is putting time as a priority and wants to get in and out quickly. So <clears throat> in order to help you along in that strategy, we've got a host of different tools and resources, many of which you've already seen before, but you're going to get a uh, an email here shortly that has all of these uh, readily accessible so that you have them. So we're not just giving you a strategy. We are giving you a package made way to deliver results inclusive of behaviors, outcomes and tools that will drive and support those behaviors and outcomes in Windows. Uh, we want to talk about associate knowledge. We want to talk about the Best Buy app. And again, we want to talk about core demos. When we talk about knowledge, it's really about, frankly, not training the people on this call. Right. We got to believe that our Microsoft certified advisors, formerly known as experts, are just that they're experts already. You don't need a ton of training where we've got to train is those people that don't typically sell in computers. And what that's going to help us do is expeditiously get our skilled labor back to the home department. Right. It's great that folks in mobile can come over and help us sell, but there's no way they can be experts in both mobile and computing. Right, so let's get them in. Let's get them enough to be dangerous. Let's close that sale quickly and get them back to mobile, right, uh, where they can be most effective. Uh, in order to do that, it really comes down to one singular tool, which is your Best Buy app. Uh, I'm not going to try to steal too much thunder from uh, some of my specialist partners here who are going to share this information with you, but the app is an incredible tool that will help improve a perception of price. It will help improve a perception of in stock. It will help close sales at a higher and faster rate and it will increase your net promoter score. So more on that to come here in just a moment. Uh, the Windows 10 demo is really no change there um, compared to what we talked about with Office demos. We know that that's going to increase our brand love and our perception of associate knowledge. And we just want to be armed with showing customers how great an operating system Windows 10 is uh, by being able to show off our favorite demos. Lastly, uh, but certainly not least is Microsoft Surface. Uh, our behavior that really leads the Surface strategy continues to be Surface first, right? That is talking about those core Surface pillars of it being the best of Microsoft, of it having shared DNA of uh, bright and brilliant touchscreen, unparalleled style and craftsmanship and design specifically for Windows and Office. Then we want to show off the Surface difference, right? We have so many amazing devices in this portfolio or family of devices. And lastly, we want to show the Surface difference, which is um, all of the cool things that only a Surface can do. So that's a longer strategy that I'm not going to unpack anymore here, but you've all had exposure to it before. It remains our number one selling technique in Surface. Uh, we want to talk about the ability to take Surface home today, right? And that really ties, frankly, into a lot of the same behaviors we use in Windows. So again, I'm going to I'm going to um, try to avoid stealing thunder there. Uh, but we know when we can take it home today and we sell Surface, we improve net promoter score because it's a premium product. We improve average sale price because it costs a lot to buy Surface, frankly, and we improve customer conversion or close rate. And then lastly, Surface more than any other area on this strategy needs some love when it comes to brand standards. Uh, we uh, put a ton of money into the feature tables and the pinball tables. Right. They cost tens of thousands of dollars each. It's a premium experience. We wanted to show up that way in front of the customers. So uh, again, we'll talk a little bit about that because we have a host of resources uh, to align you. So a lot going on in this slide. Hopefully I gave you the, the Cliff Notes version. Uh, I am going to have again, know my partners uh, walk you through and unpack some of this. So with that, I am finally going to take a sip of water and stop talking. And I'm going to pass it along to uh, Mr. Andy Jacobo. Hey Tyler, it's actually Adrian. I knew that. I'm the pat. <laughs> let me let me uh, here. I'm the Tarantino. This part. We're gonna go backwards in time real quick. Uh, we're gonna talk about the strategy. I just ended the strategy. I'm gonna finally take a sip of water and catch my breath, and I'm gonna pass it off to my partner in crime, Mr. Adrian Solis, who's gonna take us through Microsoft 365. All righty, thank you, sir. Um, all right, Andy. Next slide. Alrighty, you guys. So as Tyler was mentioning, you know, a couple of our strategies um, around uh, M365. Um, this is going to be our guide that we're going to be utilizing uh, to ensure that we have all the right behaviors in the store, right? So as you guys continue to do your, your trainings and your cross training in other departments, um, and you're looking at what to validate and, and uh, what to look for. Uh, so we made it super easy with this one pager around driving M365, right? So um, in this page, you're going to see two sections. You got resources and behaviors, and then we have four areas that we want to focus on, right? We want to focus on associate knowledge, computing, 
mobile and front ends, right? Because we're really trying to drive M365 uh, in all four corners of the store. Um, but for this case, we're going to focus on the computing section. So um, in the resource section, so the resources that you guys going to that you guys want to utilize and ensure that you guys have is going to be the M365 SKU teaser. So if you guys um, have seen it in multiple registers, you'll see the uh, different versions of Office that associates can scan and then scan the $20 savings. So you want to ensure that those are hung up and that people are utilizing them and that they're aware and that they know um, how the coupon works. Uh, we want to continue to lead with OneDrive uh, selling aid and then utilizing the daily unit tracker. So if you guys don't have your trackers up, definitely reach out and we can get one provided to you guys. So make sure that you guys are keeping track of your guys' daily goals and keeping track of what you guys sell throughout, throughout the day. Um, around the key behaviors, right? So we want to ensure that those M365 SKU choosers um, are laminated and are hung up. We want to make sure that uh, we're showcasing our favorite demo, as Tyler was mentioning before. And then um, if you guys are aware, right, so a lot of the customers are shopping today. Uh, we know that a lot of our computers are modern, right, with SSD. So they're a lot thinner, lighter, faster than the regular HDD hard drives. Uh, meaning that we don't offer as much storage as we used to, right? We don't have the one terabyte or the 750 gigabyte hard drives anymore. Um, now, you, the, now the common sizes are the 120, uh, the 128 and the 256, 512. But if a customer really wants to get more storage, right? This is where we want to lead in with that OneDrive, right? We want to offer that M365 and talk about all the benefits that they're getting, not only with the productivity software, but also getting that cloud storage as well. Um, next slide, Andy, real quick, because I actually have something new that I want to share with you guys. So if you guys weren't aware that there is a change coming to M365 uh, $20 savings offer, uh, this change is called Extra Time, and this will be rolling out on February 28th. Um, and basically what Extra Time essentially is, is instead of the customer saving $20 on M365, they will receive an additional three, three months for a total of 15 months of M365. Um, why are we uh, why are we moving to this offer? You may ask. Uh, well, because time is valuable, right? We wanted to ensure that customers can enjoy the benefits of M365 a bit longer. So with M365, uh, customers will actually save a little bit more. So if you think about M365 family, that actually equates to twenty five dollars more in savings than the current offer of twenty dollars. So they're they're essentially saving five dollars more. Um, but a couple of key calls that I really wanted to point out here is uh, this is an exclusive offer to just Best Buy. So, you know, another reason why we have an advantage over other retailers, right? So other retailers are going to be buying, um, you know, if they decide to buy at Microsoft.com, they'll be only getting 12 months for the same price. But with us at Best Buy, they'll actually be getting 15 months. So definitely something that you guys can leverage uh, with those customers who aren't looking to buy today. You can totally bring that up and hopefully that we can close the sale. Um, no more savings on the lifetime versions. If you guys are wondering, lifetime versions uh, are also not gonna be qualified for the $20 savings. So more of a reason to buy M365. Uh, and with that, I'll go ahead and hand it off to Andy for more info. Ah, thank you, Adrian. Uh, nice work. Uh, so I'll be going over Windows, the Windows strategy, um, which will be uh, very familiar with what you just saw from Adrian, where we have a one pager that kind of goes over the MCSA uh, resources that are available to you, as well as behaviors you should be executing. Um, specifically, let's talk about our in stock uh, options. So resources that you guys have available are obviously the, the Best Buy app, which we'll go in depth here uh, in the next slide or two. Um, and then having multi-channel fulfillment. So being able to uh, check other store locations, see if the, if the customer is willing to go to another store or the obvious, uh, I'm going to ship it to the customer in the next couple of days. And as well as the SOP never out of stock option. Uh, again, uh, I'll go over that more in depth, but those are three resources that you can use. Now, when you talk about behaviors, there are three or uh, sorry, a couple of behaviors that you should be executing and leading by example. So as an example, uh, advisors using the, the Best Buy app to show to find uh, the ship to home dates, uh, knowing a good, better, best uh, top deal. So specifically uh, knowing what you and your peers have a uh, good, better, best option for customers, uh, knowing those out of stock dates, when they can ship it to the customer, when what stores have that available. 
Uh, and then the advisors review the top deals, uh, what I just went over. Um, and then uh, the say, so we talked about the never out of stock options, which again, I'll go over a little bit more in depth in the next slide, but uh, telling customers, hey, good news, I can get this available to you to ship it to you, or I can have that next store or the next closest store available uh, for pickup if you wanted it today. Um, if you can go to the next slide for me, Tom. Um, so this is the the brand new tools that are available to you. So kind of talking about that previous slide on that one pager, we talked about tools and resources that are available to you. So uh, I know you probably got ahead of yourself. You popped in, you noticed that QR code. So we made it even easier for you. So uh, I know those so stores that I cover, I walk them through the uh, how to break it down and get through all the filters just to find what the top deals are. So now you can just scan this QR code. It'll take you straight, do all the filters for you. Highly encourage you to one, be an expert around this, two, share it to your peers, especially those associates that normally don't cover your computer department. So you can help them uh, find those top deals when they jump into the department and help out customers. Now, going back to the daily sheet, the one on the left hand side, love this sheet for a couple reasons. One, we talk about knowing what the daily promotions are, right? Um, we now have a form that uh, if you have new associates uh, or associates that come in your department that aren't familiar uh, with uh, what's on sale. Now you have a form that you can show them, hey, this is the top promotions that are going on. The second thing I really love about this sheet is uh, having items that are not necessarily in store. So uh, when you talk about bestbuy.com, customers can go in there and filter the same way you just did, but now they can find, as an example, the, M the MSI unit that's not carried in most locations. But you'll have this device that's just a, such a great promotion, right? An i5, 8 gig, 256, around that $500 price point, really good build uh, that we normally wouldn't know we have on sale because we don't have it on the sales floor that we now know that we can get to the customer in the next couple of days. So really engage around this sheet and the QR code so we know those promotions and we can sell units that aren't necessarily on display and units that are on display and making sure that we know where those units are and all your peers understand where those are located uh, when you are coaching and training around this. Can you go to the next slide for me, Tyler? Um, and then this is the probably the the out of stock strategy we kind of talked about in that one the one pager. Really love this uh, strategy. So when we think about Amazon uh, and a customer has to order a product and it's going to be available for them in the next couple days, we don't normally think that that's out of stock, right? Customers say, cool, I can get this. I'll have it by Wednesday. We're set to go. Now in Best Buy terms, we fall into the trap of that. If we don't have it into the store, we automatically assume we don't have that product. We automatically say, hey, I don't have that in stock or let me see if another store has that for you. Unfortunately, I can't get it um, before we even actually look into that. Now, when you look on the, the second kind of right next to the Amazon screenshot, you can see that most times we can get that same computer or a comparable computer within that same time frame as Amazon. So are we really out of stock when we can still get it for the customer at the same time frame that Amazon? No, we're not, right? So making sure that we, we go back and we talk about the the strategy around best, better, good. Now, after we find out what are our best, better, good options, let's find out what store locations have it and let's find out when we can get it by. Now, what's really cool is a lot of this work's done for you, especially the ship dates on the daily promotion sheets, which will tell you, hey, you can get this by the 21st. So you already know that. Now, I'd still encourage you to double check that because sometimes uh, they'll get pushed back a day or two or even earlier for depending on what stores are located by you that they do the ship to home and get you get that device to you closer. So just double check that, but just kind of an easier tool for you to get that. The third piece to this is the the out of stock strategy for Best Buy. So this is your SOP coming straight from Best Buy telling you, hey, let's make sure we don't use language such as, hey, we don't have that in stock or, hey, uh, you can't take it home today. But right and changing that verbiage to can I can get that for you. I can either ship it to you or I can have it available to you at a, at a location nearby. Or, hey, great news, I have that available. I have that solution available for you. Uh, which option do you want to go with? So just changing it slightly for that verbiage, the customer understands that, hey, you have that in stock and not going straight with, I don't have it, right? Uh, so that's all I got. I'm going to hand it off to Sabrina. Thank you, Andy. So I'm going to dig into Surface with you guys all today. And our first slide is going to look very similar to what the first two guys did. So 
With surface, um, we got that broken down into four different categories, associate knowledge, surface first, price, and foundational excellence. As Tyler said, the surface tables do need some love um, in their brand standards. They take a little bit more than the rest of the department does, so that's where we're going to kind of dig in today. So our resources that we do have are the SEA audits. They do check the surface table, they check your down stocking, and they check your clean and bright. You have the walks with, with your Microsoft partners. Um, you have us in store at least once a week, if not once a month, um, and, and we're always available as you need us. And Microsoft also pays 30 minutes for your merch team to do an EDTL in the space every morning. So we want to make sure that that is being completed. When you walk in, all your devices are turned on, screens are wiped down, there isn't any dust. And that you're also reviewing what the SEA auditor did say and fixing those misses as they do come up along with working with your Microsoft partners during our monthly walks in store as well as with the communications that we get from leadership. So as we move on, um, we're going to look at what a vision of good looks like. Having the look and feel 100% up to the brand standards isn't only going to increase your SEA scores, but also going to increase your S NPS with the customers. Um, they want displays that are functional, that they can touch. We know that most people that buy Surface are coming into the stores to buy them um, because they want to see what all the different features are. So having your tables look like this with those mass display signs calling out the top deals, everything turned on, everything straight lined, you're seeing the price tags are even all on the same level. Um, and making sure that we do have them 100% is what we want from you guys. Um, your table should look like this every day that you are in store and every time that you do leave. If your table is not looking like this, but instead looking like this next slide, you guys know you have some work to do. So <laughs> let's make sure that our keyboards are not hanging over like they are in that first photo, that we do have our cables that are managed. Things are straight line, they're turned on. And you're, you're giving the table some love. We don't want that clutter. We don't want the falling mess. Um, and we need to have yeah, those cables under control because as you can see, this slide does not look as good as that first one. So this is where your customers are going to kind of come into the store um, and it's going to bring them in. So make sure it's looking like that first slide. Lastly, we always talk about Surface being the best of Microsoft. So if we can go, yep, yeah, there we go, awesome. So if you've worked with me in stores before, you've heard me say this, um, and I'm going to say it again, but whether you are buying that $399 Surface Go or the $3,000 Surface Studio, you're getting the same parts and pieces. You're getting the same best of Microsoft, um, and you're getting that same brand standards from the brand, um, and, and we're seeing it in the customer reviews. When you see that Surface Go, you see the Surface Laptop or even the i3 4 gig, bundle that we have look at these reviews that we're seeing 4.6 stars 4.6 stars 4.5 stars and people are loving that not only are the computers great devices for them but but they're loving the speed so if you do get a customer that is doing your basic every day is they're doing office they're doing browsing of the web they maybe want to watch netflix or play around with a little bit of apps do not be ashamed to sell these devices because customers love them um, and, and yeah, they're definitely going to be a great seller for you. So I'm going to pass it on to Adam to close us out with Game Pass. All right, thank you. So not a whole lot to talk about in Game Pass. Uh, as many of you are aware, this is part of our, our PMR strategy uh, currently. And uh, we just want to have a few reminders for you guys. Uh, number one, Game Pass you know, continues to offer the best value in gaming. Um, number one, due to the, the quality of first party and third party um, games, franchises, IPs, there's a lot involved in Game Pass going forward. Um, and of course, we, we've um, added a lot to that over the last uh, year as well. Um, and also, the, you know, Game Pass, there's, there's a lot of new games every month. Uh, Todd's going to move to the next slide here and showcase some of these. Um, we're cycling games every month, just like how like Netflix cycles new uh, movies and TV shows on their platform. Um, and that way, there's always something fresh, always something new to check out at the same time. Um, and, and even some of these newer games that are announced alongside the Xbox Series S and X are finally hitting Game Pass, like the medium here. Um, so a lot of good content. Uh, Microsoft's done a great job building, you know, our first party titles to really bolster our, um, you know, our collection of games. And a lot of that's due to, you know, fan feedback as well, as well as, as, well as uh, Best Buy feedback too, I'm sure. 
Um, and the next point here is there has been some some things in the news recently just want to cover. So pricing changes were announced, but then reverted back to the original pricing, and that's for Xbox Live. So um, we originally announced that that price had doubled, um, but due to fan, you know, fans and reactions, we reverted that that back and also included free to play games um, don't require Xbox Live anymore. So Xbox is always listening to gaming, uh, the gaming community, and that's a really big, important factor. It makes um, Game Pass and Xbox successful. Uh, the last thing here is uh, your Xbox, just like Microsoft 365, is a subscription. Um, and Best Buy is, you know, moving forward, their increased reliance on subscriptions is going to help Best Buy survive as retail has changed a lot in the last, um, you know, six, eight months. Um, and plus, on top of that, it's a great basket to attach. So not only can you attach in computers, you can attach in mobile, gaming, and in home theater as well, too. Uh, a lot of those tie into, you know, gaming on your mobile device through Xbox um, game streaming um, or on your on your console itself. Um, and it, just to let you guys know, there will be eventually, we don't know the exact date, but it, it's public knowledge that um, game streaming is coming to Windows 10 um, and also iOS devices uh, eventually. I think it's in a few months. There's, there's a lot of things out there, uh, but Microsoft did confirm that is coming. Um, so that'll have a, a huge impact, obviously, on the gaming community. Um, not only can you get a gaming laptop and download your game to your device or desktop, but you can stream it to your mobile 10 or Windows 10 device, uh, which would be huge because that would turn any any Windows computer uh, or really any computer at all actually into a, a gaming uh, device eventually. So um, that's all I got. And Tyler, back to you for the uh, the weather <laughs> or whatever your secret announcement is. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, Adam. Uh, thank you, Sabrina. Thank you, Andy. And thank you, Adrian. Uh, very nice job taking us through that content. Uh, we will wrap up with uh, my super secret announcement as promised. Uh, I don't have a slide for it, so I'll just I'll just show you more Game Pass games, uh, I guess, while I make this announcement. How about? Um, so I'm actually going to be taking a stretch assignment, um, which is a, a temporary assignment that's going to go from middle of February, February 18th. Uh, in theory, it's going to take me up until the end of June. Um, so I will actually be heading up uh, retail partner training for Microsoft for uh, the United States. Uh, so that includes certainly Best Buy, but it also includes uh, some of our other retail partners as well, like Walmart and uh, Costco's and Sam's Clubs and, uh, you know, GameStops, et cetera. Uh, so that will pull me out of the normal loop. And the only reason I share that with you is because obviously uh, right now you get a pretty healthy uh, you know, dose of communication from me as part of my normal cadence. Um, so we'll, we'll still keep those things alive. However, it won't be coming from me. I will have a interim uh, leader who will be running the market for me in my absence. Um, that decision hasn't been determined yet. Um, as it is, we will make sure that you are all aware of that. But I wanted uh, you know everyone to hear from me uh, just so you understand why, hey, it seems like maybe uh, Tyler's frequency of communication has dropped off or, you know what, I haven't seen him in stores for the last couple months. Uh, there, that's, there's all uh, reason and rationale from that. And that's because I'm actually going to be assuming a different job and different responsibilities for the next uh, three and a half to four months. So I uh, just wanted to give you all a little bit of context to that. Super excited for it though. And, uh, you know, obviously Best Buy remains as it always has been Microsoft's biggest partner when it comes to uh, the Microsoft ecosystem of products and services. So I will still remain very, very close uh, to, to this team during that stretch assignment. So just want to make sure we were all aware there. And uh, with that, I think uh, I think that's a wrap unless anyone else has anything. So uh, speak now or forever hold your peace. I'll give you three seconds and I'll wrap her down. I think that's it, guys. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Thanks, everyone. Have a great February. We'll see you all soon.